We return now to Coral Springs, where our Michael Williams continues our coverage. Michael. Kelly, we have images of 19 year old Nicholas Cruz in court today where his lawyer called him a quote broken human being and tonight as police try to plumb the depths of his motivation for this heinous crime, this tragedy, this second worst school shooting in American history after Sandy Hook. Police and people in this community are asking how could the signs have been missed? Mental health signs and the like. The signs about a young man who'd come to school with bullets in his backpack and eventually was expelled from school. And we are left to cope with the 17 lives lost and the 14 lives, those of people who've been grievously wounded and will have to deal with those injuries, psychological and physical, for the rest of their lives. After that teenager came back to the school from which he had been expelled yesterday for one last deadly time. The Broward Sheriff says shooter Nicholas Cruz pulled up to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School at 2.19 p.m. An Uber car dropped off the suspect. Detectives say the 19-year-old walked into the school from which he had once been expelled and into the east stairwell. He was carrying an AR-15 high-powered rifle in a soft black bag. The time, 2.21 p.m. The suspect readied his rifle and began shooting into rooms 1215, 1216, 1214. He went back to 1216, back to 1215, and then to 1213. By now, a fire alarm is sounding. Many students huddle in their classrooms. Many more are running. The suspect then took the west stairwell to the second floor and shot one victim in room 1230 floor, 1234 on the second floor. 2.24 p.m. Cruz goes back to the east stairwell, dropping his rifle and backpack before running out of building 12. It is now 2.27 p.m. The suspect crossed fields and ran west along with others who were fleeing and tried to mix in with the group that were running away, fearing for their lives. As horror grips the school and parents rush to find out the fate of their children, the suspected teen shooter keeps moving away on foot. The time, 2.50 p.m. The suspect arrived at the Walmart store. He bought a drink at the subway and then left the Walmart on foot. Detectives say Cruz next walked to a nearby McDonald's and sat down for a short period. At 3.01 p.m., he left on foot. At 3.41 p.m., 40 minutes after he departed from the McDonald's, the suspect was detained at 4700 Wyndham Lakes Drive in Coral Springs by an officer from the Coconut Creek Police Department. A teenager, 19 years old, behind bars tonight, no bond, facing 17 counts of premeditated first degree murder. And once again, framed by grief and anguish and loss and anger and every other emotion that you can think of, this community, this country, against that backdrop, asking questions about how much is being done and whether enough's being done about issues from school security to mental health counseling to, yes, guns and gun access. A young man who was able to buy a high-powered weapon last year, even though he wasn't old enough to even buy a handgun, but legally acquired that high-powered weapon. All of those questions and more to be debated again. Tomorrow, Florida's two senators, Democrat Bill Nelson and Republican Marco Rubio will be here to try to console those who face so much loss and perhaps to tackle those questions as the nation does so yet again. Reporting live from Coral Springs, I'm Michael Williams, now back to you.